In this video, we will take a closer look at the PayPal integration and we'll configure it together. Before we can start, we still have to install the app. For that, go into My Extensions and click on Install App. Um, keep in mind that the PayPal integration is a standard app in Shopware. And now we just have to activate it. After installing the app, we can now open the configurations. Click on Settings, Extensions, PayPal. At the top, we start with selecting the sales channels. We can either say if we want to work with PayPal in all our sales channels or in the individual sales channels. This is a good idea when you work with several API credentials. So let's have a look at the settings in detail. Here we have the API credentials. At the top, we have our live client, our live data. So if you already work with a live shop, you can add your data in these fields. Or if you are still testing your shop and your payment methods, you can use the sandbox client. In both cases, you can either fill in the fields manually or you can click on Get API Credentials. So if we now click on Get API Credentials, we directly come to the PayPal site. After we logged in, we would see our credentials in these fields then. The next step, we've got the behavior. Here, we select our merchant location. And in the payment acquisition step, we select or define whether we want the collection automatic or manual. The automatic payment collection, for example, is for when it is closed. In this step, we define if we want to submit the cart. If this option is active, the cart data will be submitted to PayPal at the checkout. And the customer can see his ordered product um, through the whole checkout as well. Here you can enter your brand name on PayPal. Um, this text will be displayed as the brand name on the PayPal payment page. Next, we got the PayPal landing page settings. Um, you can set whether the PayPal landing page should display the registration form or the login screen. Um, active this option if you want to send the order number to PayPal um, after completing. Then we got the order number prefix and suffix. Um, we, you can determine which text is added to the original order number. For example, a text after, uh, before the original order number or after the original order number. Last but not least, we've got the debugging settings. Um, when using the advanced debugging, um, additional data is recorded during checkout um, to detect potential errors. Now we come to the PayPal Express settings. With this option, your customer does not have to register in the shop for his order. Up here, um, we have the option to control the display of the Express button. All of them are activated by default, um, so you can deactivate them as you wish. We can also change the button color and the button shape. We can again choose whether the customer shopping cart is transferred to PayPal or not. And we can enter different shop languages for the express checkout. Um, if the field is empty, the sales channel language will be uh, used. Keep in mind that you have to enter local codes here. Um, you can find a list of available language codes um, in the link here. Next, we have the PayPal installment. 
Um, the PayPal app enables you to display a banner for the new installment payment on the item detail page, the off canvas shopping cart, and when changing the payment method in the order process. This banner will be displayed on items that match the criteria for the installment payment. Last but not least, we have the PayPal Plus option. Uh, PayPal Plus allows you to offer your customers um, the payment methods direct debit, credit card and purchase on account in addition to the classic PayPal. For the configuration of PayPal Plus, uh, you only have to activate the option Enable PayPal Plus in the admin. Let's go to the storefront now. Open a category with products. Then you can see your product list. And now you can see the express button from PayPal. If you go into this product, you can also see the express button and the information about the installment payment. If you click onto this installment payment, you directly get an uh, example calculation from PayPal. Click on add to shopping cart. Here again, you can see the express button and the information about the installment payment. And now we proceed to checkout. First, we have to log in. And then you can already see the, the payment method PayPal and our order. Click on submit order and will be directly linked to PayPal. After you have logged into PayPal, you can now see all your login, um, your order information. You can see your shipping address and you can even change it here. You can um, add a payment method or choose an already existing payment method. And you can still choose the pay later option. Click on pay now to proceed the checkout. And now you have placed your order.